Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle with So Purpose Activation and today we have a brand new kind of reading for this particular channel, okay? This is all about twin flames. This is the first time I've actually done a reading specifically targeting the energy of, of twin flames, okay? So what we are gonna be doing in this reading, you guys, is tapping into whether or not you have a twin flame at this time and so what I just want to clarify by what I mean when I say do I have a twin flame we all have twin flames um, whether or not so what we're going to be pinpointing in this reading is whether or not your twin flame is incarnated at the same time as you are right now okay um, and I just want to clarify that I have different views and different beliefs than a lot of other people might have. So when you are receiving this reading, keep that in mind. Number one, it's a general reading. Okay, so everything may not resonate. And number two, um, the things that I believe may not align with other things that you have learned from other people. Okay, so as far as twin flames go, my personal belief, what resonates for me, is that uh, very few of us actually have twin flames who are incarnated at the same time as what we are, okay? Now, I do believe that more and more twin flames are, are incarnating um, in the world, in, in, you know, in the same lifetimes at this point in time. Uh, but if you are, you know <laughs> of an age where you are actually watching this video you're understanding what it means you're romantically interested in and in linking up with a twin flame um people that are i should say adults okay people who are adults um young adults maybe even you know teenagers and stuff like that for people that are that age i believe that twin flames are very rare okay very rare um, as far as twin flames being reincarnated at the same time. So what we have here are four piles, you guys, okay? So if it comes out that you do not have a twin flame, all that simply means is that your twin flame is not incarnated at this point in time with you. Like this lifetime is not the lifetime where you and your twin flame are going to be united as a couple or however you are wanting you and your twin flame to experience this lifetime together. Um, I also have a belief that if your twin flame is not incarnated at the same time, they are in the spirit realm, okay? And they are serving as a guide on your spirit guide team. So if it comes out in your reading that your twin flame is not incarnated that does not mean that you do not have one we all have a twin flame okay this universe is one of duality and when you decided to incarnate into this universe your soul split in half okay this is what i personally believe so you have an expression of your soul that is primarily um masculine energy dominant okay with some feminine energy making it up and then you have the other half that is feminine energy dominant with some masculine energy in its makeup okay that's my personal belief system on that if it doesn't resonate then this is not going to be your reading <laughs> possibly i don't know check it out otherwise just know you guys um if it comes in this reading, like if you, especially if you have somebody in mind as to whether or not they are your twin flame, we'll definitely check it out as far as this energy goes. But this energy is meant to really clear up any kind of confusion because there are a lot of people out there who are thinking they have um, met their twin flame. They are dealing with a lot of toxicity associated with who they believe that their twin flame to be. I personally believe that a lot of people dealing with what they believe to be twin flames, I believe they are false twins, um, karmics, things of that nature. Um, uh, the draw of a karmic or a false twin can be very, very intoxicating, very addicting. It can be very convincing. So I'm hoping that this is going to help um, clear some stuff up for you guys okay 
Um, so just you guys, if this does not resonate, please don't bomb my comment section with, you know, hate or anything like that. This just is not your reading. Move on. Okay. Or maybe pick a different pile. Um, otherwise you guys, I do offer personal one-on-one -on -one twin flame readings. Just check the description uh, box below to book your personal twin flame reading and I will be able to let you know whether or not you have a twin flame that is currently incarnated with you that you are meant to unite with in this lifetime, okay? So, you guys, pick a pile. We got pile one here that is the beautiful amethyst seer stone, and then we've got pile two that is the beautiful smoky quartz seer stone. Pile three is the rose quartz. And then we got pile four that is the clear quartz, okay? I will see y'all at your time stamp. I love you so much. Pile one, you chose the amethyst the seer stone. This is going to be your reading. And today we are going to be um, picking up on the energy of you and your twin flame. Basically, whether or not you and your twin flame are incarnated here on earth at the same time, okay? You guys, do me a favor. Before you even get into this reading, please watch the intro. There is some very important information there. Basically, this reading is going to possibly share some things with you that may not align with similar, te well, not similar, but with different teachings that you've had. My personal belief systems when it comes to twin flames may differ from what your belief system may be. So I just want to make sure that you set um, the context of this reading before you receive it. Okay. Um, so before you get into this reading, check the timestamp, go watch the intro. Okay. Come back here and then watch your reading. Otherwise we're just going to get right into it. So pile one we have for you guys. We've got the energy of clouds, okay? So right away, this is showing me that there is actually some confusion on your part about who, there may be somebody in your life that you believe is your twin flame, okay? I'm just gonna put it out like that. Um, the energy though of this particular card is letting me know that if you have a specific person in mind, that person is not your twin flame, okay? That person is mo most likely a karmic uh, or a false twin flame. And false twin flames and karmics, their energy, it can feel so addicting. It can make you believe that, well, you know, this person has to be my twin flame. Otherwise, I wouldn't be under, you know, under this powerfully magnetic spell. But this reading here is letting you know um, if there is any confusion at all whether or not someone is your twin flame, when you actually are in the presence of your twin flame, there will be zero confusion. So whoever you are talking about or thinking about in your head pile when that person is not actually your twin flame, they are more than likely a karmic that is here to help you... They're here to help trigger some really deep stuff within you to possibly prepare you for a twin flame, okay? Uh, we are going to get more in the reading. I still at this point am not sure whether or not your twin flame is incarnated in on this earth with you at the same time. Um, so we will go ahead and get into that part of the reading, but I will tell you right off the bat, the first message that came through pile one, if you have somebody in mind that um, you may have been wanting to be a, a twin flame, possibly thinking, could they be a twin flame? Because there is just this strong pull and magneti uh, magnetism between the two of you. Um, they are a karmic. They are not the real thing, okay? And they are here to really trigger some deep, I'm hearing trauma, um, to help you heal. Uh, they are serving as a mirror, which a lot of people, for whatever reason, think that twin flames are only, like, twin flames are the only ones that are serving as mirrors to you. That is not true. Every single person that you encounter in life is basically your mirror, okay? Um, <clears throat> so, let's just get right into your reading. Let's talk about... Pile one's twin flame. Do they have a twin flame that is incarnated with them 
right now in this lifetime or are they serving on pile one's spirit guides tell me about pile one's twin flame what is going on with pile one's twin flame please oh we have all right the eight of pentacles interesting let's find out why the eight of pentacles Ooh, we got the queen of the king of swords Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and just get your guys' cards all. Basically, what I am getting, you guys, is your twin flame is hard at work. Hard at work doing what? Um, trying to get some messages through to you. Now, whether or not they are trying to get messages through to you because they are already incarnated here, or if they are um, working on your spirit guide team, let's dive into some more but but i will tell you though that your your twin flame your authentic true twin flame is working really hard to help you um master something here so let's figure out more about how one twin flame your twin flame is hard at work here why are they hard at work what is going on with your twin flame? All right, pile one's twin flame. Let's talk about pile one's twin flame. got the eight of swords why is the eight of swords here please oh and then we got the fool okay so right off the bat you guys I can tell you that your actual twin flame is not incarnated with you at this point in time they are hard at work on the other side trying to help you clear up some of your karma okay um, this is a very important lifetime for you. Now, that's not to say, you guys, that you guys are not going to have the great love of your life in this lifetime, okay? Here's what a lot of people need to understand. A lot of people need to understand that just because you don't have a twin flame doesn't mean that you're not going to be able to experience the great love of that lifetime, okay? Um... A twin, a twin flame, that's not what their purpose is. A twin flame is not here to complete you. A twin flame is not here to make you feel whole. They're not here to... Um, they're not here to fill in the gaps, okay? Here's what a lot of people must understand. Even if your twin flame were incarnated here at the same time as you... Um, you wouldn't be able necessarily to unite with them in a successful way until you yourself were already whole in some capacity, okay? We got the Ace of Swords in reverse. Why is the Ace of Swords in reverse? And these are just popping out with the King of Pentacles in reverse, okay? We are going to get a couple more cards here, and then I'm going to tell you what I see. Ooh, look at the High Priestess. Ooh, Okay. Yeah, you are on a mission. Look at that with the Nine of Wands. Pile one, you're on a mission. You are on a mission. And it's something that it's not necessary. Okay, so first of all, there's some karma here that is needing to be cleaned up or cleared up. And for whatever reason, your twin flame your other half is needed on the other side as part of your spirit guide team to help you clean up this karma whatever it is okay and it has something to do with um i'm hearing false imprisonment you've got some you've got some thought patterns you've got some belief systems that are highly highly toxic I don't want to say toxic. Okay, so some of you may be highly toxic. For others of you, it's very restrictive, okay? Very self-sabotaging. Toxic is kind of a harsh word. Um, 
restricting and self-sabotaging is more along the lines of what your um your <laughs> um twin flame is wanting to say okay but that is like they they did not they chose not to incarnate with you during this lifetime because there is some things on your end that need to be neutralized karma that needs to be neutralized that for whatever reason just a normal spirit guide would not be able to help you with your other half your twin flame has to kind of edge you into this awakening is what's coming up especially with this full energy You have, a, with the high priestess here, we got the high priestess, we got the fool, we've got wand energy, which is fire, we got pinnacle energy, which is kind of like the material 3D realm, and then we've got the sword energy, which is all about mental. The only thing that we're missing here, you guys, which is really kind of interesting, is emotion, like heart-based energy, but which is actually being represented by um, the high priestess. You're too much in your head. You have a, there are a lot of mental constructs that are keeping you from being able to do what you are meant to do in this lifetime. And your higher self and your twin flames higher self are hard at work together. Trying to clean up, basically, what I'm hearing is like a brand new, a brand new slate. Clean up the slate. Um, what do they call it? a clean slate? Okay. Um, I love that the Eight of Pentacles came out with the King of Swords because we have all of this kind of cha um, challenge. <coughs> wow. Hmm. <coughs> Why do I feel like you're being bound? I mean, I know we have the Eight of Swords energy here. But what is within you that is needing to be expressed and communicated that feels like it's being suppressed? You guys, I can barely breathe. <clears throat> <clears throat> And it's only when I want to talk. You guys have some very important things to share. That you have the ability to tap into. There's something here about truth. You guys have access to, to truth. That... If you were able, like right now, there's something going on. You've got some kind of a belief system, a, a limiting belief system that is shrouding the truth that you know about deep down inside. There's something that, and I'm, I'm, what I'm hearing is it's about yourself. You are a, a very powerful person. And you're meant in this lifetime to share these truths with I don't necessarily know if it's the world, but I mean, it's it's truth. There's something that's going on within the world today that it's really messing up. See, we got the Ace of Swords with the King of Pentacles. There is something that is going on that has to do with truth thought structure and communication that is messing up the ability for people to be able to live their most abundant life and you have the key somehow to unlocking this for a lot of people but you yourself are blinded to some kind of truth like I think you have an inkling of what I'm talking about 
but there is something, there is some kind of a construct that is holding you back, okay? What I'm hearing is fear. And I love that we have the High Priestess here with the Knight of Wands. It's like if you guys would just <clears throat> yield to that part of you, that, that still voice. Because the High Priestess is the most psychic card in the deck. So deep down inside, no matter what is going on in your mind, Pile 1, you know the truth. You know what's going on. You know with the Knight of Wands, it's like there is no reason why you should even doubt what you're feeling. Fuck, excuse my language, but fuck what you're thinking, okay? Thinking mental-based energy, that's where your ego is. Ego can be corrupted, okay? What cannot be corrupted is your intuition. So if there's something going on with your mind that is in direct opposition to what you are feeling deep down inside always go always side with your intuition and with the knight of wands here it's like listen <laughs> the knight of wands here the knight of wands is confident it's almost like overly confident you know what i mean and so it's it's giving me that feeling that whatever is going on in your head right now Whatever is going on in your mind, like whatever belief, belief systems that you are up against, that you are here to try to kind of like, your belief system is a direct result of your upbringing, okay? Um, not only that, but also of whatever, you know, karmic baggage that you've been, that you've brought over from previous lifetimes, okay? And so your twin flame is on the other side hard at work with your higher self trying to get you to free yourself from this mental prison that is pretty much for the most part self-inflicted to see the new path that is in front of you and it has something to do with confusion like it's funny because we have the ace of swords in reverse and then we also have the clouds which it both it but they both talk about a lack of clarity confusion um misinformation false truth like deceit basically like straight out lies okay because the ace of swords is supposed to be all about truth when it's in reverse that energy is reversed it's not truth it's lies and these lies or this misinformation is directly affecting not just your ability to experience um, prosperity wealth abundance um, just a feeling of comfort like the king of Pentacles is the ruler of the material world okay um, I'm very responsible, very reliable, very grounded, very centered. That energy here, though, is in reverse, and so it is messing with your your feeling of comfort, your feeling of prosperity, your feeling of abundance, and you're not here to live paycheck to paycheck, okay? No one really is here to live paycheck to paycheck. The only reason why we are experiencing those kinds of issues is because there is something going on in our mental state that is basically calling those experiences in, okay? Whether or not they are born out of a karmic cycle or if it's just something that originated from this current life really doesn't, it doesn't matter. What needs to happen though and what your twin flame is at work doing with you as part of your spirit guide team is helping you to overcome whatever this mental construct is so that you can finally live like live the best life that you want to live i feel like pile one that is the main reason why you incarnated in this lifetime it's like you dealt with a bunch of bs up to this point and it's like you just want to like your reality is your playground you want to enjoy life you want to enjoy all that life has to offer and you have the ability but you are operating under some kind of a mental construct that is keeping you from being able to do that um, and when you understand and realize that your thoughts and your feelings are what create your reality and I don't when I mean create reality I mean it's that's what manifests 
your reality, okay? So if you are constantly um, dealing with kind of like a victim mentality where like it just seems like everything is always going wrong, like you can never get over, uh, how do I want to say it? Um, there are certain times I know like there's people where they may experience like an unexpected blessing or a windfall, but the minute they experience that blessing or a windfall, something happens that just basically wipes it away, right? Let's like, like, like let's just say that out of nowhere you were able to manifest like maybe a thousand dollars or two thousand dollars or something like that, right? And you're just over the moon because you're like, you were not expecting this money, you're thinking about all the things that you're going to be able to do with it, and then all of a sudden it's like. Um, oh, you need new tires or oh your furnace went out or just all of a sudden it's like yeah What windfall it's like and the reason why you're manifesting those things is because there is a Default setting within yourself. Okay, there's a way of thinking and a way of feeling that you default to that is continuing to manifest people in situations and circumstances and experience and events and things like that that keep you in that state of feeling and or thinking okay and so your future here i keep wanting to say your future spouse your twin flame is hard at work with your higher self trying to undo all of this stuff because you came here with the intent to finally enjoy your life okay you're like to hell with karma you're ready to um neutralize karma get it to a point where you know now you're just getting over whatever mental prisons you have and you're just here to have fun okay um so that's what's going on <laughs> all right so the overall message here is that your um your twin flame is not incarnated in the 3d realm at this time they are actually part of your spirit guide team hard at work trying to get things in a um Get things structured for you in a way, with you in a way where you'll be able to actually live a life of abundance here um, so that you can enjoy your, your 3D human life on this earth, on this lifetime. Because I have a feeling like uh, you may have had several lifetimes prior to this one where you were just kind of racking up karma, you know. And now it's like, okay, I'm, I'm done with those soul lessons or I'm done with those experiences. And now I just want to, I just want to have, I want to enjoy my life. You know, I want to experience life in this 3D body, life in this realm. All right. So what is pile one here? Tell me about pile one's journey. We have the Five of Cups in reverse. Okay, then we, oh, there's a High Priest popping up again, you guys. So this is telling me that you guys may have come across some very emotionally unfulfilling circumstances. Maybe, maybe you're going through them like, you know, currently. Maybe this is something that you have been like a pattern of something of what you've been experiencing. Um, but your higher self has never left you. Your higher self and your twin flame has never left you. Like they have always been there. See, like the fact that this energy here is in reverse lets me know that it could have been worse than what it was. The reason why that it wasn't worse than what it was is because you, you, your higher self and your twin flame's higher self has always been front and center. Um, kind of intervening in a way, okay? So even though you don't have a twin flame who is currently incarnated in a physical body, they are very much at work um, in your energy in conjunction with you and your higher self. Um, what I'm hearing is manipulating energies. Like there are some life lessons here that you were meant, you know, you've been meant to, uh, to experience, but they've kind of been serving like a buffer, Hmm. Ooh, yeah, see, so we got the tower coming out. Which, you know, that doesn't surprise me. Because in order to neutralize or shore up karma, I mean, 
there's we're talking about structures that need to go oh, look at the ace of wands oh my gosh it's the magician you guys listen if you are going through anything right now that feels difficult or if you have gone through anything it's like you guys don't understand whatever it is you think you lost it's like literally you have the whole world in your hands you got the magic wand the ace of wands it's like it's a clean slate from here you can literally create your life into anything that you want it to be so what do you want your life to be pile one what do you want your life to be the world is your oyster <laughs> um i know it's difficult i know it's difficult to not lament over and not to focus over what was lost in the past or what may have never been experienced. You know, some of us have had really shitty childhoods. Some of us, you know, didn't get to experience the kind of, you know, the ideal childhood at all. You know, it's very easy to sit there and, and, and lament over things that we never got to experience or things that feel like they were taken away from us. But what we need to focus on, and this is part of your twin flames help in your life is to help you direct your so this is part of like your your thinking right your mental construct your uh habitual thought patterns to not always focus on what was lost and to be able to focus on what you still have to gain and you have every you, you, anything you have everything to gain everything we have the ace of wands that is a brand new start yes everything was shaken shaken and tumbled down to like its root foundation but now it's like okay i think about a house right and an earthquake hits and it is completely leveled to the bottom uh, but now it's like you have unlimited resources to rebuild that house into exactly what you want it to be exactly because up to this point pile one your house may have been built um it may not have even built been built by you it may have been built by your upbringing and what people told you how they thought it should have been built what they thought it should have looked like and now whatever's happened that's brought the tumbling down like that brought this tower moment down like you're at ground zero and you've been given unlimited access to whatever resources that you want to completely build this back up exactly how you want it. And if you actually look at things, you know, is that really, had you had, had you had the decision, had you had the ability to actually decide this, you know, that was what I wanted, was that, would that really have been what you wanted? And no matter what your answer is, pile one, your twin flame wants you to really kind of focus on, okay, we are at ground zero. This is a completely clean slate. You get to design now what you want your house to look like, what you want your life to look like, okay? What do you want it to look like? It's all up to you. You have unlimited access to anything that you need. What do you want? Okay, this is actually a very beautiful, a very powerful place to be. Um, and which is why your, your twin flame hung back. Uh, this is why they decided not to incarnate. But naturally, it's not just them, both of you. You both decided that you were going to incarnate here and then they were going to hang behind because, you know, um, well, let's find out why. Why did... Okay. Yeah. See, so they're withholding with both of you decided that it was is best for whatever reason to withhold uh, one of you withhold from uh, incarnating. Why is the four of pentacles here? Why are we withholding? Hmm. Interesting. We got, got the magician in reverse. I feel like I'm almost feeling like where we're at as far as our timeline goes, they're not ready for it. They're not ready for it. See, it's funny because we have the Ace of Wands and then we got the Magician in reverse. Why is the Magician in reverse here? They're not ready for it. Yeah. Hmm. 
The world, like the timeline that we're on right now, pile one, they are not ready yet for the energy that would be expressed if you and your twin flame were incarnated at the same time, okay? Um, it just would not be fully utilized, we'll put it that way. You So anytime when twin flames are, are incarnated at the very same time, the twin flames don't even have to do anything. It's just that energy that does something to the collective energy, okay? The collective consciousness. And right now, for whatever reason, the world is not ready for two of you, okay? The world is not ready for two of you. Um, it would be maybe too powerful. Um, it's just the timing's not right. We'll just put it that way. The timing is not right, okay? I feel like right now, um, you and your future, you, I keep, I, okay, you guys, I keep wanting to say future spouse because that's a lot of the readings that I do on this channel. So don't, just don't pay attention. That doesn't mean anything. But you and your twin flame, um, there's just, there's too much ego still left in the world, okay? And I feel like yours and your twin flame's mission has something to do with after a lot of people's egos have been somewhat surpassed, okay? There's just, when I mean ego, I mean um, everybody has ego. Ego is part of what is needed to survive life in this 3D realm as a human, okay? Ego, though, can be corrupted, it can be perverted, it can be distorted. And there are way too many people right now who are still asleep in a distorted egoic system. And so, um, whatever, like, your energy would not be able to be received because you and your twin flame, your energy coupled together, can only be received by those people who have surpassed the distortions of their egos. And that, we're not quite there yet, okay? So, possibly, maybe, the next lifetime is when the two of you may incarnate at the same time. I don't know, because I'm not really doing a reading for that particular reason, but it's just letting you know, the world isn't ready for two of you yet, <laughs> okay? Um, yeah, the world is not ready. We still have a lot of people that are still stuck in very distorted, egoic um, constructs, okay? Your energy is going to be needed. I feel, what I'm hearing is like your energy is going to be needed to help kind of usher in the golden age, which we, we're we still, we're kind of approaching that area, but we're not quite there yet, okay? So, yeah. And actually, it's almost like your energy, you and your, your twin flames energy is meant to not usher in the golden age, but... What are they wanting to say? Maybe compliment it? I'm not sure. We'll just leave it at that where it's at, okay? Um, you may already have kind of an idea of what I'm wanting to say. If you do, just kind of pop it into the comments below. Um, but I do feel like the next time when you and your um, twin flame, when you guys incarnate together, it is actually going to be during a time when most people have been able to surpass the distortions of the egoic minds, okay? Which is going to be so beautiful because a lot of people are already kind of getting to that point. Um, I think for the most part, people said they're like 51%. Um, I can't even get into that right now. It's just too much. But anyway, yes. <laughs> All right, so let's get some uh, messages from your... Your twin flame on the other side. What does your twin flame on the other side have to say for you? Actually, you guys, I want to use... I'm going to keep using the tarot, which is so weird. Usually, I, I feel led to use a lot of oracles uh, along with the tarot. But for some reason, I'm like, something's telling me to stick with the tarot, okay? So let's get some <clears throat> some messages from pile ones. The 
the first thing that's coming up, you guys, is like I, I feel like that just confusion, confusion. There's something going on. You feel very conf there's you feel what's coming through is a feeling of conflicted, like you're feeling conflicted about something. Very conflicted, very confused. Something is not clear. Which all of that sword energy coming out with this with these clouds does not surprise me. But you guys have a very, very strong intuition. Like deep down inside, you guys know what you need to do. Okay? You guys know the answer. Um, your mind is just kind of... I feel like you guys are kind of on the brink of... I don't want to say a spiritual awakening because I think you may have already had one, but there's something going on with your mind. I don't know what they call that. It's not a spiritual awakening. Enlightenment. 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 Okay. Uh, a possible ego death coming your way. And when I mean an ego death, I mean like a, a death to the distortion, a death to the negative programming, okay? Where you are more connected and more identified as your your authentic self rather than your, your um, what do they call that? An avatar, I guess. Like for instance, you know, my identity here is Michelle, right? And that's the name that this body has, but that's not me. I have occupied many bodies not just on earth, but you know, all throughout the universe, throughout all of time. So Michelle is not actually who I am. It's just the name of this body and this personality and this lifetime that I'm playing. And I feel like that's what you are on the precipice of. Interesting. Let's get guidance from or actually messages from your twin flame for pile one Got the queen of cups in reverse you see there's almost kind of like I feel like you're you feel I feel like you feel okay I'm not saying that you are but what's coming through is there's a, there's a feeling that you feel cut off from your intuition you feel cut off from your higher self um, there is a feeling here that you tend to be up in your mind a lot. And you might just be, it could be that you have way too much on your plate. And it could be like, a, what's still coming through though is all that sword energy, all that mental energy. I just feel that You got a lot of mind-based energy stuff going on. Like you are in your head way too much, pile one. But it's almost like, oh, you know what just came to mind? You know what hap we know what happens when there is way too much energy or there's way too much of a current that goes through an electrical socket. It is so much that it just kind of fries it and and it's almost like a reset and you have to go and reset everything. I almost feel like that is what is going on with you. And we got six of cups in reverse. Why is six of cups here? Hmm. You're never truly cut off from your higher self pile one. And your intuition is always there. The only thing, the only reason why you're having a really hard time discerning whatever it is you're needing to discern because you got way too much going on. We got the ten, of, the ten of Wands here, which is all about just kind of feeling overwhelmed, mostly by maybe responsibilities, okay? Which have you all up in your head. Um, and it's like, if you, here we got the Queen of Swords in reverse. Look at all this stuff. So we have you kind of cut off from your heart, cut off from your emotions, cut off from your uh, being able to hear from your higher self, you know, your intuition. Then we've got, like I said, it's the distortion of the ego. We got the Queen of Swords in reverse. 
there may be something that happened in your past pile one that you need to go back and okay there's two things coming here something happened in your past that you may be distorting that that may not have happened the way that you remember it because memories can be such a fucking tricky thing okay um people can actually suggest and implant memories in your head that may not have happened that way or they can distort your own memories that's why it's like it's very dip it's kind of like one of those things like you want to be very careful when just completely relying on memories of how things happen because believe it or not um those things can like you can be uh, somebody can implant a memory in you of something that didn't even actually happen at all okay so what this is telling me is there is something that happened in your past possibly in your childhood that has been distorted in your memory okay that is causing you to it's causing a lot of just issues in your life in general you know what i want to see if i can get some more information about this for you guys this is really interesting like this is supposed to be kind of like the end of the reading and all of a sudden like wow <clears throat> what is going on with pile see now now your, your twin flames want to talk <laughs> i feel like there's something that happened in your life pile one and it doesn't necessarily have to be something that happened in childhood but it's like you're not remembering it correctly and it caused you to take on all these mental constructs and belief systems and thought structures that you don't need to have that I honestly believe are affecting your sense of self-worth, uh, your confidence. Hmm. Give me some more information about this, please, for pile one. There that go again. See, yeah. I don't, you know, I, look, you're, okay, I am really understanding now why, for whatever reason, your uh, twin flame had to hang behind because there is something going on with your memory. I don't know if somebody did it on purpose, but it's almost like, okay, it's almost like there is some real work here. Your twin flame is hard at work that has something to do with writing what I mean by writing is R-I-G-H-T-I-N-G, -I -I okay? Not wrong, but right. <laughs> writing um, a memory, something, uh, the, uh, something that is stemming from a memory. Like, I don't know if it's the memory, like if you're not remembering something correctly, or if you are remembering it different than what happened, or it could also very well be that you are putting uh, something happened in the past where it's caused you to make it mean something about yourself that is not true. And your twin flame is on the other side trying to help you undo that. Like that's the last thing that I just said. Either way, no matter what about it is true, there is something that you believe about yourself that is not true, that is somehow connected to your past, okay? And your twin flame is hard at work with your higher self undoing the thought patterns and belief systems that were born out of that, okay? Why is this Eight of Pentacles here? Yeah, we got judgment in reverse. What you think about yourself and your capabilities, pile one, is not an accurate depiction of your true power, your true worth. And even your identity. We have a lot of major arcana. We got judgment that came out high priestess, the tower. We had the fool that came out earlier. It's like your your future. We got the page of swords coming out. Why is the page of swords here? I really feel like I'm so yeah, with judgment here in the fool. You guys are on the precipice. Okay, uh, not so much a spiritual awakening. I feel like there's some, it's more about, of an enlightenment. And for me, enlightenment means you are surpassing the mental programming, the mental construct. Like for me, my name is Michelle. 
when I when I identified solely as Michelle, I believed myself to be this and that and everything else, you know, um, and my power was kind of like restricted by whatever it was, my upbringing, this and that. When I was enlightened, I was able to bypass that and kind of in a certain way experienced um, an ego death. And now it's like I'm completely identified as the being, you know, I, I'm not... I'm not Michelle in this body. I'm beyond that. I've had many identities. I've occupied many bodies. And I am not limited by by anything. And I feel like you are on the precipice of that as well. We got the hanged man. And there's the magician in reverse again. You guys, if you've been feeling like you've been in a holding pattern, that is getting ready to, like I said, you're going to be enlightened, enlightenment, enlightenment. It's not a spiritual awakening as much as it is being mentally enlightened to who you really are, what you're really capable of. And that is what your twin flame is hard at work um, on the other side for. That's why the both of you, both of you chose that one of you was going to stay behind so that you would be able to overcome that. Now, some for, so for some of you, I feel like you've had to deal with some a lot of stuff, okay, to get you to that point. But if you are feeling at any point powerless, hopeless, weak, like you, you know what I mean? Like it's coming, pile one. So, that, that tower moment, like I feel like, I actually feel for most of you, you are in the middle of it, okay? It may have been lasting for a while. A tower moments aren't, they don't have to be something that happens right away and it's just done. It can be, but what it's doing, you guys, is it's, it's knocking everything down to, even down to the foundation, which needs to happen. If something was built on a faulty foundation, it would not stand the test of time. Okay, you are here in this lifetime um, to primarily to enjoy your life, primarily, okay? Do you have a purpose beyond that? Of course, okay? But for the most part, we are all here to just really kind of like live life through these bodies, experience this earth through this 3D body, and it's like you're here now to neutralize whatever karma that you came here with to clear it all away, to be able to get into that King of Pentacles energy, which is saying like, <laughs> King of Pentacles energy, that's boss, that's boss energy, okay? That's like CEO energy, that's Capricorn energy, that's, you got all your shit together, okay? And not just, you know, I'm like material wise, it's like you don't want for anything materialistically, oh, you want that, you got it. You want that, you got it. Okay, Seven Rings from Ariana Grande is what's coming up. <laughs> also, what's that other one? Um, oh, she talks about manifesting. Um, there's Seven Rings and there's some, another song that she does about manifesting. I can't remember, but that's what's picking up. Like, you guys are here to enjoy this life, okay? To live life, to live it in abundance, to have the nice house and, and some of you may be like oh, that's not even like the big thing but that's okay it's like you know wouldn't it be nice to be able to go to the grocery store and not to have to worry or count you know you know what I mean like to not have to worry about how much money you have in the bank or to have to keep a close eye on what you're buying or to be able to go to the store to buy some some clothes and not to have to look at the tags I mean that's what you guys are here for in this lifetime is to get to that point and so but there are some things that are keeping you from being able to do that. And it's mostly mind-based thought construct, belief patterns, stuff like that, that your uh, twin flame is helping you to um, rise above, to break beyond, like I said, uh, ego death, okay? To really get in touch with who you are. Look at that page of God. It says, open your heart up to the beauty and magic of the world. Romantic daydreams can be indulged. Someone may surprise you with a declaration of adoration. Wonder your own inner landscape. Dream a little dream today. Tell someone how much they mean to you. Let your heart lead the way. And it's this is like, I love the Page of Cups energy because 
it's that energy that you get before you've been heartbroken 5,000 million fucking times. You know what I mean? And so the page of cups is just kind of like, you know, here's my heart. <laughs> here's my heart. I just want to love you. And you guys, I know some of you are just kind of like, I don't know about that. And it's okay to kind of feel that resistance. Um, but if you can get to that point where you're just like, I just want to love you. And you're, you know, but you're able to do it from a place where it, there's no toxicity in it whatsoever. It's like, I just, you know what I mean? Um, and you can do so not needing anyone else to really reciprocate it. Not to say that you're going to be a doormat for people. Um, <clears throat> what's coming to mind though, it's just like when you can love freely, you can live life with an open heart and just love others because you yourself are love. It's like you're loving because you are love. You're not loving to get love. That's not where you're coming from. You loving because you are love. And so you're just going up to complete effing strangers. And I'm not saying that you are actually going up to them and just hugging complete strangers, but that's the feeling that you're, can you like, I just want to, you know, can I just love you? I just want you to feel good. I want you to be happy with yourself. I, you know what I mean? You're coming from that place. You're just so full inside of love that it is pouring out of you and just splashing onto anyone that you get close to. You know what I mean? It's such a beautiful energy. And for some of you, this may feel so foreign because you've been locked out of that part of yourself for so long, especially if you have been kind of living primarily in your mind space. Okay. This may be very new to you, but this is kind of like, this is okay. If for some of you, I feel like this is kind of where you want to be. You miss this part of yourself. And what is being said is like, you can, you can be this way. You can totally be this way. You don't have to get attached to everyone. In fact, you know, you don't even have, there's, there is no pre prerequisite for giving someone unconditional love. That's what makes love unconditional. It is unconditional. You can just send love energetically to anybody because that's who you, that's who you are. Let your heart lead the way. And I feel like when you guys learn how to, when you guys get enlightened, basically, when you guys have this enlightening experience in your life, wow, I can't believe this is going on, going on an hour. When you guys have this experience in your life, um, I don't even have the words for it, you guys. And these cards just keep the two of cups. Look at that. <laughs> when you guys get to that part where basically you experience like an ego death, okay? Look at that. The two of cups does talk about, um, it can talk about the union between two people. It can talk about marriage. It can talk about all of that stuff. That is certainly going to be very attractive to potential suitors, okay? This can bring about... Um, that feeling that you're wanting, like say if you are seeking out a twin flame connection because of a feeling that you think it's going to give you, uh, just opening out, opening and living from your heart space is going to bring that to you because you're actually going to be in that feeling state every single day that you're, that's going to be where you live. And so you're going to be attracting to you all kinds of relationships, not just romantic, that are just going to be giving you that feeling, reciprocating that feeling all the time. But you're going to be living there, though. It's like you don't need someone to come into your life and make you feel that way. You are already feeling that way. And so you are just effortlessly attracting people to you that are mirroring that that experience right back to you. I hope that makes sense. All right, you guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and, and, and end the reading here. This was almost an hour long, which is like the longest I think I've ever done a video <laughs> in these pick of cards. So let me know what you thought in the comment section below. If it resonated, do me a favor and smash the like button, share and subscribe if you feel led to do so. I love you guys so much and I will see you at your next reading. Bye. Hi, Pile 2, if you chose the Smoky Quartz uh, Seer Stone, that's the name of it, <laughs> this is your reading. Please, Pile 2, if you haven't done so, 
before you even get into this reading, please, please go watch the intro. If you don't, you're going to be missing a lot of context um, that may kind of like miss the boat as far as this reading goes. So just real quick, go check the timestamp, watch the intro, then come back and, and um, uh, continue on with your reading, okay? So what we're going to do uh, today, you guys, is... Uh, tap into your energy, your twin flames energy, and figure out if you have a twin flame, okay? Now, what we mean by that is whether or not your twin flame, you and your twin flame are incarnated um, at the same time on earth right now, okay? You do have a twin flame. I explained that in um, the intro. Everybody has a twin flame. Um, and whether or not the two of you are incarnated at the same time or if one of you are here and then the other one is like, you know, on the spirit realm, kind of help guiding the ship a little bit, that's what we're finding out here, okay? You do have a twin flame. What we're actually going to be looking at is whether or not they are incarnated here on earth with you at the same time. All right, so here we have the ship. <laughs> All right, so... Um, this is kind of at this point in time, I will let you know, this is a more positive card, but it does kind of differ on according to what cards surround it. So I will say that your, your twin flame definitely has a part in the direction that your life is going. Um, steering the ship is what's coming to mind. So they have a part to play in your purpose here. Now, whether or not they are here physically in the three year realm with you in this lifetime or whether or not they are on the other side playing a part on your spirit guide team. Let's see if we can tap into that energy, okay, for pile two. Now, you guys remember, this is a general reading. I do offer personal uh, twin flame readings. Just check the description box below. Um, so if something resonate, if it doesn't resonate, you guys just, you know, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, if this entire reading just does not feel like it's for you, you can either, um, just click off or you can pick a different pile. I think there's like, yeah, I, I did four for this one. So something else might resonate for you. All right. Well, let's look at pile two's, uh, twin flame relationship with our twin flame. What is going on with pile two's? twin flame relationship. How to use twin flame. We got the four of cups with the five of cups in reverse. Okay. Ace of Pentacles. So we also have the star. Okay, right off the bat, you guys, I am getting that your future. I'm sorry. I'm so used to doing future spouse readings. <laughs> your twin flame feels like they are not on this earth. And there does kind of feel like there's some disappointment <laughs> um, attached to that. So basically what that means is that um, your twin flame is on the other side. Um, kind of helping you guide, guide the ship. Like they're on your spirit guide team. They're heading up. They're the captain of your spirit guide team so far. Uh, because there are some things that need to be cleared up before the two of you can, because it's a very big deal. You guys, when, when twin flames are incarnated at the same time, it's a very big effing deal. Okay. Um, we got the, what is that? The... Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, see, you guys have some lessons that um, need to be. And we also have the Six of Wands in reverse. We're going to get a couple more, and then I'll let you know what I am picking up on. I do feel like some of you, a lot of you probably are feeling kind of... Um, disappointed. I don't know necessarily if you guys have anybody in mind that you were hoping may have been your twin flame. Um, I will say that if you are wanting a twin flame because you're kind of feeling like that person's going to complete you, like there's a feeling that, that 
that maybe like when your twin flame, if your twin flame were to incarnate at this point in time with you and you were to meet them and have a romantic um, relationship with them, like it would have given you a, maybe a mission. That's what I'm hearing. Like you feel like it, it would have given you a mission or a direction or a purpose in life. And that's not what twin flames are meant for, okay? Um, like you're wanting a twin flame to kind of feel like, because we got the Nine of Pentacles energy here. The Nine of Pentacles energy in the upright position is somebody that is very secure in themselves, in their own power, and they don't need accolades or rec and that's funny now i just saw that the six of wands in reverse is right behind yeah so it's almost like you guys are wanting or we're hoping for a twin flame because it's almost like you feel like that would have made you feel special important worthwhile like you matter um would have given you like maybe like a major sense of direction like i don't know it's almost like you're questioning your own power your own worth and what your twin flame is wanting you to know it's like you don't need them for that you already are all of that all by yourself and that's kind of part of what you're here to learn for this lifetime is that even if your twin flame was incarnated here at this point in time the two of you would not be able to come together until you reach this point where you realize you are whole in yourself You are worthy just in just because you are who you are. You don't need a twin flame for you to feel like you can be celebrated or you can be worthy or you can be special. And it's almost like there's this feeling like the ultimate significance. Because I think you guys understand that twin flame journeys here are very rare. Like it's very rare for um like twin flames to be incarnated at the same time it's very rare and maybe you just you have this relationship with yourself where you feel like i'm feeling some of you just feel kind of chronically overlooked maybe passed over I feel like some of you are just kind of bored with life, honestly. We have the Four of Cups here. And there could be two different things. Like, for some of you, I feel like you're just kind of bored with life. And it's like, if I had a twin flame, then we would be on this, you know, huge worldwide mission. You know, that would mean that, you know, I'm here to do something really important. Which... Another ish, another message that's coming through that just because your your twin flame is not incarnated here at this point in time does not mean that you're not here to do something important. There are many people that are doing very important things on this earth right now who don't have their twin flames incarnated with them. In fact, the only reason why they're able to do those things is because their other half, their twin flame, is on the other side helping to steer the ship. Okay, um, why is this Ace of Pentacles in reverse with the star? I'm hearing very humble beginnings. Yeah, we got the King of Wands in reverse. I, you might be dealing with somebody right now look at that with the ace of cups in reverse you guys i see where you're coming from i know why you are feeling the way that you're feeling okay um there's been nothing this is what it feels like the message and the energy that is coming through in this reading is that up to this point there has been just one disappointment after another and you got and it's not just one disappointment but you've gotten to a point where it's just like you you're kind of uh, you it's almost apathy like you feel apathetic your energy about life right now feels like 
there's not much to look forward to. And I'm not saying that that's true. I'm not saying that you don't have anything to, to look forward to. That's the energy that I'm picking up on, though, in your own energy. Like, you're, you were hoping, like, that's, like, that was the one thing that maybe you were looking you were kind of hooking on to like, oh, okay, well that big love is going to come or, you know, maybe it's not even the big love. It was like, when we get together, we're going to rule the world or we're going to change the world or whatever it was. And it's like, that was like what you were kind of holding on to and looking forward. And the message that's coming through for you guys is that you don't need a, your twin flame to be incarnated at the same time for you to be able to do all of those wonderful things. You have that in you right now, just to you by yourself, but there's this, there's, there, there's this thing within you that's almost like you, you, it's almost like you doubt your own ability, you doubt your own self-worth, you doubt your, like you, uh, not necessarily that you don't trust yourself. I feel like there's an energy here that may have contributed to how you view yourself we got the king of wands energy in reverse here and so this may have been somebody in your past um who was very flaky very on fire like they may have lit something within you so this doesn't necessarily have to be like in, from your childhood it can be just kind of put this message wherever it resonates but this energy is just like it's not it's not consistent but when they showed up when this energy was present in your life it made you feel a whole lot of things like it made you feel alive inside and so when this energy would just disappear all of a sudden you're just like what <laughs> and that's what you're seeking you're seeking that same energy it's like uh, and when you're not realizing is that that energy, that need or want to feel alive inside is already inside of you. You don't need an external, what do they call that? You don't need an external catalyst or stimulation or anything like that. Okay. They were just simply making you, they were like, they were kind of there just kind of helping you to tap into something that was already inside of you. Okay. Um, And I feel like that's what you're missing. You're missing that that fire. That there's like right now I feel like right now you feel very apathetic about life. You're almost bored is really what's coming through. Um, there is a sense of disappointment in the way things have turned out so far. And it's like there's almost this belief like when the, the twin flame, you know, if your twin flame were incarnated, like when the two of you link up and hook up, then it's all of a sudden it's just like life would never be bored again. There would always be a sense of purpose and what your twin flame is wanting you to know that you can already have that sense right now. You don't need anybody else outside of yourself to cultivate those feelings inside. What guidance do you have for pile two as far as pile two's twin flame go? Give me some more. Look at that. <clears throat> Devil energy picking back piggybacking off of that king of wands energy this was very toxic with the four of wands interesting dynamic here with the high priestess in reverse mm, why is the high priestess in reverse here so we got the devil energy being clarified by the four of wands and so this energy feels like the catalyst to this energy feels like it's no longer in your life. Like you're no longer dealing with the energy or the person that kind of like kickstarted this energy. Now you're just dealing with whatever um, the remnants, the repercussions, the consequences and stuff like that. And it's almost like with this rest energy, you know, you're finally kind of able to step back from it a little bit. And that might be why things feel so boring to you is because as toxic as it is, it did something. It woke you up inside. It did. It, make you, it made you feel alive inside. But what it did was it cut you off from the most important part of yourself, this high priestess. That's your inner self. That's your higher self. The high priestess is the most psychic card in the deck. And the fact that the high priestess is upside down is letting us know that 
you were completely cut off from that part of yourself from being able to receive vital messages from your higher self and then we got seeing with the set your defenses were completely down oh my gosh you guys yeah someone did a number on you and that's partly why it's like now you're just kind of wondering like it's almost as if the message that's coming through, like whatever this energy was that came in, I feel like it swept you off your feet. Even if it was somebody from your childhood, maybe it was like a parental figure that was in and out of your life all the time. And maybe they were more absent than they were present. But when they were present, it was just like they made you feel um, just alive. They made you feel important. They, you know, just them putting the spotlight on you for a second just made you feel things you did not feel every single day of your life right and so now it's almost like you're seeking that thrill again you're seeking that feeling you're seeking that that spot that sense of the spotlight and um look at that the ace of wands beautiful with the ace of wands and what that is telling me is that you guys don't need a twin flame you, like you have a twin flame okay they are on the other side steering the ship for you with you okay um, and you have the ability to make your life exactly what you want in this particular instance though it's like anything that you're wanting to feel like you want to feel alive you want to feel alive inside you literally have a magic wand to do with whatever you want to do with the only reason why you're having a hard time really kind of connecting to that is because um, you're just recovering from the energy, this devil energy and the king of wands in reverse energy, whatever that energy is. And you're kind of in a time of inactivity. You're in a time of rest, which after you've had a whirlwind of energy, a whirlwind of emotion, no matter how toxic it was, when everything and the dust starts to settle and you're kind of rest, it can. Even though resting is a very much, it's very much a needed time. It's something that, it's a needed phase in anybody's story. It can feel very, what's that word? Counterintuitive, not counterintuitive. It can feel counterproductive. You can feel like you're going backwards, not realizing that sometimes, like, you know, that's what, so manifestation is, and we're manifesting 24-7. Manifesting isn't just being shot forward and finally, you know, in your manifestation. Manifestation is two things. Manifestation is action. That's the active part of it. The masculine energy, do, results, outcome, all that stuff. And then you got the other side that's inactive where it's all about resting and allowing and seeing things unfold naturally and pulling your energy back and just letting things flow right you got the masculine energy active part where you are directing the energy where you are focusing and and pushing your energy forth and then you have the the feminine energy part where it's all inactive you're resting you've pulled your energy back and you're just letting things unfold naturally and a lot of us do not feel very comfortable in the inactive phase of a manifestation okay and so it's like if you can allow yourself to just feel restful <laughs> like yeah it's like you miss the it's almost like you got addicted to the rush of whatever it was you were feeling with this king of wands reverse energy you got you got addicted to that um you know you got addicted to that now that energy feels like it's gone and so you've been seeking that kind of energy again not realizing how toxic it was but look what you guys have to look forward to. You got like a love like that does want to come in. So we got the Ace of Wands, which is like back to the drawing board. You can manifest. You have access to unlimited resources. You can manifest literally whatever you want. And we've got the Knight of Cups here, which is indicative of somebody that wants to come in and offer you um offer you a love relationship but in the current energy that you're in 
you need to be very careful of the nights okay what you need well you know I'm not <laughs> I'm gonna say I should say what what is recommended is that you look more to manifest the king or the queens or the emperor or the empress okay they are a little bit more <laughs> stable but I feel like if there's a part of you that kind of craves this night energy you know and it kind of that gives me the the king of wands energy in reverse too where they don't really think before they act they're just completely led by just whatever <laughs> you know um not very grounded uh the thing is is though is though that the thing about it though is that that energy as quickly as it explodes it's gone you want something that's more of a slow burn okay so this is kind of a cautionary thing for you guys because this is almost like this is what like you're getting ready to manifest basically the same energy all over again maybe not just as bad okay so you got like the knight of cups so you got kind of somebody here that may be a little bit more in touch with their feelings but not very grounded at all and so this is kind of like the energy that is coming in. This may be somebody that you're already dealing with. Tell me more about this Knight of Cups person. Yeah, this is somebody. They all, whoever this Knight of Cups energy is, it's um, the Two of, of Pentacles is in reverse. So they're not much of a juggler, um, meaning that they don't really do third parties too much but they're not going to be for whatever oh it's the selfishness that's coming up so while they may not be someone that really indulges too much in third party situations as in like you know entertaining you and then somebody else um they're not going to be very they're not going to be very mindful of your needs and your wants. So just be very, very careful because what is going on with this, the reason why this is kind of looking like that's what's setting to be manifested is because there's more of this, like this devil energy is still lingering. Like there's still a part of you that is wanting that rush that comes along with, you know, manifesting in or experiencing a twin flame connection and so what that's going to do is bring in people that are going to kind of help mimic that feeling and the thing is it's like okay you really got to look delve deep inside pile two and figure out why do you want to feel that way okay there are so many other ways that you can feel alive inside or whatever it is that you're wanting to feel try to focus more on the ways that are more constructive because currently with this lingering devil energy and the knight of wands, not the knight of wands, the king of wands energy in reverse, you're just going to keep basically manifesting the same experiences in different relationships, but to varying degrees, like whoever this knight of cups person is coming in, they can very much be genuine. You can find a knight of cups that will come in that can turn into a king of cups as they mature but currently what is in your energy what is being set to manifest to somebody who on the surface seems like they might be okay maybe somewhat questionable but at the root of who they are they are not going to be able to reciprocate your energy they're not going to be able to match your energy they're just they're i'll, I'll be honest they're going to be selfish okay there's going to be some level of selfishness to them only because they're just not fully mature yet. Like if they were a king of cups, it, it'd be a beautiful, beautiful reading. But you know, you have the ability to manifest exactly what it is. And believe it or not, you know, your, your twin flame is rooting for you. They want you to have the great love of this lifetime, especially since they are not um, incarnated, okay? It's not that like, whatever we think of like jealousy and all that stuff does not exist in the realm where your spirit guides and your higher self and their higher self is at okay they want you to be happy they want you to enjoy life here all that good stuff let's get some messages for pile two from pile two's twin flame Messages from Pile Choose Twin Flame. Okay, so we, it looks like we need to give up. There's some kind of a. Mm. 
you could have it all. You literally could have it all. But there's something going on inside of your mind. It looks like a mental conflict. And then we look, you guys. We got the five of... Dang. God, these are just popping up. There's a magician. So here's what... Okay. So this makes a lot of sense. We got the Ten of Pentacles coming up. And it's like... Th that is totally available to you. Ten of Pentacles energy is like... That's having everything that you need to fully enjoy your life here. Like, how much money would you need to be able to feel alive inside? <laughs> okay. And the ten, and it's not just money energy, but when you look at the Ten of Pentacles energy, it's talking about also the legacy. You got, you know, someone here that is there with their family. Okay. It's the full manifestation it's not just the family it's also the abundance so like that is like everything that you want pile two is available for you to manifest look we got the magician here the only thing that is blocking you is number one there's some kind of a mental conflict that's going on okay and that could be manifesting as conflict in your outer world with other people um and then you also have the five of wands which is all about like compare like me how you're how are you measuring up to other people like you like being constantly in comparison mode there is something that you're doing pile two that is that is shutting you off from the ability to really feel alive inside like there are reasons that you can feel alive inside right now and this is like god this is so it's so interesting because we got the five of wands which compared to the, the the magician is not a big deal at all. They're both wand energy, but the magician is like, they have power over every single element, over not just wand energy, but sword energy, pentacle energy, and cup energy, all the elements. And you're worried about what somebody else thinks about you. Or you're worried about whether or not what you're doing measures up or is worthy of accolades or something like that. I hope that's making sense. And it's like, <laughs> if you can drop whatever those stories are and just focus on the truth of who you are, you can have, you can have it all is what's coming up. You can have it all. You don't need a twin flame in order for you to feel like you've made the best of this life. Okay, let's get a few more messages from your campaign, please. We got the devil showing up in reverse this time and then we got there's the two of pinnacles again The only thing that keeps coming up, pile two, is you can have it all. There may be a part of you that maybe feels like maybe you have a lot of mutable energy in your chart. So mutable energy is going to be what? Uh, Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, and Pisces. Maybe you don't feel grounded a lot. Like your energy just kind of can be split into a million different ways. But you have the ability to multitask. And to juggle whatever it is you need to juggle. Just long enough to get you to where you need to be. With the devil energy here being in reverse, it's almost like it does, it's, yes, that energy's there, but it doesn't actually have as much of a hold of you as you think it does. A lot of this is really more in your head than anything, and that might be coming back to this five of uh, swords energy in reverse it looks and it feels so much more 
darker is what's coming up. It looks and feels so much more darker than what it does. And look at the full energy just coming up too that popped up. I just now realized that. Talk about feeling alive inside. See, it's like <sighs> your preoccupation with that, okay? With wanting to feel alive inside, with wanting to feel alive inside, with um, wanting to have it's almost like you're wanting to make your place in this world. You're wanting to make your mark. And for whatever reason, it's like you feel like you need a twin flame in order to do that. It's like, no, you don't. You don't. You have a twin flame, but you don't need them to be incarnated here for you to be able to do that. Okay? Now, can you have a great love that can partner next to you while you do all these things? Sure. You can have that. Um, but don't think for a second that... You are missing, um, that you are lacking anything simply because your twin flame is not incarnated here at the same time as you, okay? And then we got the full with the three of cups. And so, yeah, see, it's almost like you're wanting, uh, and I understand it's like there's a part of you that wants to go on this journey, but you don't want to go on it alone, okay? And that's part of what you're needing to make peace with that's part of what you're needing to make peace with at this point in time not saying that your entire life has to be done like that but there you are on the precipice especially with this full energy here i almost feel like you're wanting to take a lot of people with you but you're kind of like like you know the fool is going by himself in some car in some decks i think he's got a little cute little dog with him okay um, you can have your little spirit animal or take your pet or something like that with you. It doesn't have to be literal. But for the most part, like this journey, there's parts of this journey that you're meant to discover alone. Okay? Especially like with the Nine of Pentacles energy in reverse. It's Can you like find a place within yourself to feel okay alone in your own energy find a place within yourself to where you're like i am enough for me i'm enough for me can i allow myself to be enough for me how can you be enough for someone else if you can't even be enough for yourself that is a very beautiful energy to be in and that's partly why, like, you know, <laughs> you're, and you're never truly alone. Like I said, you have your spirit guides. And then of course you have your twin flame that is at the helm, helping to kind of like guide you in this lifetime. And that's one of the big things they want you to do. That's one of the main reasons why they didn't incarnate with you at this time, because you have to learn how to, um, feel at home in your own energy you're seeking things outside of you. That you already are inside. I hope this is making sense, Pile 2. Alright, let's get lasting me uh, parting messages. We got the chariot in reverse. And so they're literally like, slow down. <laughs> slow down <laughs> um slow your roll why is the chariot here for yeah there's that five of wands energy again you're you're it's i feel like there's something you're comparing yourself there's this energy of um wanting to be the best wanting to be the biggest wanting to be the fastest wanting to be the most significant the most important the most valued and you're chasing that and it's like that's partly why it's like you may have been focused on this twin flame journey for a while is because you feel like if I could just be with my twin flame then I, everything I've ever wanted here's the knight of wands energy that's funny And your twin flame really wants you to just be able to come home to yourself. It's like if you want to find your twin flame, you're going to have to be able to come home to yourself first. Like that's 
really the way that you're going to experience that energy, like whatever it is you're wanting to feel. I mean, think about the feelings that you think you would feel if your twin flame were to manifest and you would be with them in your life and, you know, the two of you would be whatever relationship you're wanting with them. And realize that you can feel those things just in any situation. You can feel those things right now. Why is the Knight of Wands in reverse here? Just be careful what you're seeking, you guys. Because, you know, that can be a trap, too. Especially with this devil energy that keeps wanting to come back up over and over again. Like, you're, you're seeking this... this um, this twin flame journey, like it's almost, it's almost toxic. The two is very imbalanced. Yeah. See you guys with the nine of wands energy, that's more of that energy. And this is even more reckless than the king of wands in reverse. We got the strength in reverse. So it's like, you know, to, to let this, to let go of seeking for this twin flame journey, let go of it. Seek, like whatever it was you were seeking, what, why ever, whatever you were seeking your twin flame journey, what, why, for whatever reason, you were wanting to manifest your twin flame into your life. Turn that seeking within. Oh, look at that. Pull your energy back from that. You guys can totally have this life-altering, mind-bending, soul-based connection, and it doesn't have to be with your twin flame. You can totally have that. If you will just let go of this attachment that you have this belief that if you don't experience your twin flame in the 3d realm then almost like what's why would i you know like like you're just bored with life i feel like you're bored you're disappointed you're almost just like you know you want you lack that spark you lack that that feeling of alive feeling alive inside and then here we have the queen of cups with the page of cups yeah If you want the real thing, you're going to have to let go of the, uh, and, uh, the, these aren't words that I'm saying. It's just the way they're coming out. If you want the real thing, you have to let go of childish pursuits and you are the real thing. You don't have to keep seeking because you already are. If you will just embody what you already are, you will actually experience and manifest what you've been seeking this whole time. And it's not necessarily that you've been seeking a twin flame. You've been seeking an experience that you believe you would experience. And you don't need a twin flame manifested in order to experience those things, okay? Um, you can feel alive inside. You can feel like the most important and valuable person. You, you know what I mean? Like you can have all that stuff. You can absolutely have all that stuff and you don't need any um, qualifications beyond yourself or any prerequisites or anything like that. All right, let's get some parting messages for pile two. That's way too many. There comes the 10 of Pentacles again, you guys. I'm telling you. The Ten of Pentacles is such an amazing card. I love this. Okay, so it says there's no need to worry about finances right now. Expect the money to show up. Your bank account may get a bump from a promotion or an offer of a better job. Invest for the long term as well. Think about how you can create a stable financial future and keep the prosperity flowing. Okay, you can have that life. What I mean by that life, you guys, is you can have that <laughs> that you can have that life that is so abundant that it is leaving a legacy for your children after you have gone and passed okay if you decide to have children okay you can have that happily ever after you can have all of that you don't need a twin flame union or a twin flame journey that is manifested in order to experience have the experiences that you want in this lifetime okay 
whatever they may be okay anyway you guys that was your reading i hope that it resonated do me a favor comment below let me know what you thought if it did resonate smash the like button for me share and subscribe if you feel led to do so and i will see you at your next reading thanks guys Hello to my pile threes. If you chose the beautiful rose quartz seer stone, this is your reading. And today what we're going to be looking into you guys is your twin flame connection. Primarily whether or not you have a twin flame. Now, before you guys head into the reading, please do me a favor and go watch the introduction. If you haven't watched it yet, there is some key points in there that you need for context. Um, otherwise there's going to be some parts of this reading that for whatever reason may or may not resonate with you that if you were to actually watch in the introduction, it would make a lot of sense. Okay. So just go watch the intro and then come back for the reading. Otherwise we're going to get right into it. So, um, first off, I will reiterate that you do have a twin flame. We all have twin flames. What we are looking at here, pile three is whether or not your twin flame is incarnated at the same time as you are right now or if they are in the spirit realm spirit guide realm however you want to say it okay whether or not the the two of you are incarnated at the same time all right so let's see we have we got the stork interesting the stork okay so this kind of is giving me like the stork is like the bearer of um I almost feel like, honestly, you guys, what's coming up is that they're not incarnated yet, but they're going to be, which is a very interesting aspect because I was not expecting that to come through. So if they are here, pile three, if they are incarnated and we are going to do some more looking into, um, they obviously you're like you know, however old you are they're not going to be uh, i don't know i guess it just depends <laughs> they're basically like they're not born yet or they're babies okay um this could also mean like possibly your twin flame may be someone you give birth to if you are a female that can give birth or you know basically it's that's the vibes that it's giving me okay it's like your twin flame has either not been born yet they're very close to being born or they are little itty bitty babies all right <laughs> so i will tell you that you and your twin flame at some point in this lifetime pile three um the two of you will be incarnated together at some point um now whether or not the two of you will have a romantic union really kind of depends on i guess your age gap <laughs> Um, it, like, like I said, it may be very possible that it's more of a, you know, like if you're a female, like you may give birth to your twin flame or, you know, if you are a male, um, your twin flame is going to be born and it may be somebody that you take more of a parental role over possibly. Okay. Let's get some more information for you guys. Pile three and your twin flame. Tell me about your twin flame. I hear for most of you, they're not born yet, but they're very close to being born. Like, I hear the clock is ticking. The clock is ticking. Most of you, okay, okay, listen. Oh, wow. <laughs> Your twin flame, oh my gosh, this is so, oh, okay. Your twin flame is going to be the result of your union with a very important soulmate in your life. Okay, so this basically means, okay, and this is so beautiful. Most of the time I do know when twin flames are born, um, most of the time we experience twin flame unions as romantic counterparts, but sometimes we don't, okay? Um, and you guys particularly are going to be having, um, and that's what it looks like, that's what the soulmate union is for. This may not be a soulmate union that comes in that's going to last forever, but the fact that we have the levers out shows that it is something that is destined. You and your soulmate, whomever that you come together with, that you end up having kids together, 
um, is for the purposes of bringing your future spouse, your, sorry, your twin flame into this world. But with the Four of Wands energy here, it almost feels like whatever this union is with the soulmate that is basically going to be the mother or father of this child of yours that is your twin flame, um, it, it may not last forever, okay? It may not, because we got the Four of Wands in reverse here. Let's see. Interesting. Why is this Queen of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands here? It may happen very quickly like I feel like maybe normally pile three you may be somebody who is normally very calm maybe maybe not calm cool and collected but I feel like normally there's something in the dynamic here where something is not going to go how it would go normally with the Queen of Pentacles we have somebody who is normally very grounded very centered very responsible very calculated and structured and then we have the Eight of Wands here, and then we have the Queen of Pentacles energy in reverse. And so there's almost a feeling that, you know, when this meeting or when this, wow, and then we got the Magician coming out with the Ten of Cups. Oh my gosh. All right, so I'm just going to tell you guys what I see, all right? Um, there's something going on, like the whole reason why you're going to have this connection with this soulmate come in now i'm not saying that is that the soulmate connection is going to turn you into a single mom or a single dad but um it's not going to be paradise and in fact it may be kind of there may be some difficulties with this soulmate connection that is going to help bring in your twin flame because this twin, this, this soulmate connection that brings in this, and you know what, what else is coming up too? There may be something that happens where it's like, how did we even, how did we get pregnant? How did this even happen? Something feels like, see with the eight of wands energy here, there's something that feels like it's very unexpected. And it defies all... Like with the Queen of Pentacles energy, the Queen of Pentacles is very careful, okay? Um, as in using protection, um, making sure that, you know, the proper steps are taken and stuff like that. And it almost feels like this might be like an oops moment, even though precautions were taken. Like you might be somebody that might be on birth control and they might be using protection or vice versa. And, you know, here comes Twin Flame anyway. Because you can't really, I mean, they're, they're coming whether, you know what I mean? It's like you can try to protect against it all you want, but it's my time, I'm coming. <laughs> but it's like, don't worry, because even though all this stuff is happening, look what, look what energy is being ushered in after we have the Magician with the Ten of Cups. So... No matter what happens with this situation, with this relationship, with the soulmate that helps bring in this twin flame here, you will have your happily ever after. Now, whether or not this is with this soulmate, okay, this other parent or not, there is going to be a happily ever after because this twin flame of yours the two of you are going to be incarnated on this earth at the same time, which means like your energy is basically doubled. You literally are going to have the ability to create whatever life you want to live. And with this Ten of Cups energy here, it's like, <laughs> oh, wow, this is amazing, Pile 3. Like, I did not see this coming. Like, what the heck? And then we got the world in reverse. Why is the world in reverse here? Like, they're literally going to turn your world upside down. Not in a bad way, though. Not in a bad way. Why is the world in reverse here?
Oh. Okay. We did get one out though. All right. We have the nine of wands in, or nine of nine of swords in reverse. Okay. So definitely bringing an end to a period of your life where. And so what this is saying. Okay, is that I do feel like at the point in time where it could happen very close to conceiving the twin flame or very close to birth or after birth, like I feel like the relationship or the union that brought this birth into being is not going to last much longer beyond conception. Uh, but not to worry because like your happily ever after will come. Obviously, especially if you are giving birth or you're bringing in, okay, so mostly I feel like I'm, I'm talking to divine feminines, okay? If you are here and you cannot have kids, um, you don't want kids. If you can have kids, I'm just telling you, um, this is the energy. There's probably going to be a very big oops moment. <laughs> okay. Where you come in with somebody, you meet with someone who is, feels very much like I, there's going to be a, a deep soul recognition with this person. Okay. It, it's very, a very big soulmate energy coming in but it's not going to last long beyond the conception of this baby. In fact, that's why they came into your life was for the conception of this, this twin flame of yours. Okay. Um, it's going to happen very quickly. It's going to go against anything that you may do. I'm just letting you guys know. <laughs> okay. With the king of, with the queen of pentacles energy here, it's like, you can try all you want to protect against it. It's going to happen whether you want it or not. It's going to be very, well, it was going to be very unexpected. Now that I'm kind of giving you a heads up, you'd be like, damn, you know, <laughs> um, but this twin flame coming into your life as your your biological child is going to turn your world upside down but in a way where i mean you're going to have your your happily ever after whatever that means to you okay it's going to put an end to sleepless nights it's going to put an end to depression it's going to put an end like this person this little person this little twin flame of yours <laughs> in your life is just going to right a lot of wrongs for you okay it's such a beautiful message oh my gosh you guys i was not expecting this kind of a message to come through it's so beautiful so if you are wondering about like as far as a a connection goes like um, whether or not you're going to be, it's not that kind of a reading, but I will let you know that um, I don't feel you guys that whoever the other parent of this, this twin flame is going to be, I, I feel like they are going to be in the person in, in the twin flames life in the baby's life. Okay. I do feel that. Um, and I do feel for some of you, that doesn't necessarily mean that the two of you, I mean, there may be some hiccups in your relationship with uh, Twin Flames, you know, other parent. Uh, but it is very possible that two of you may just figure stuff out and you may be able to manifest a happily ever after with the parent of that, you know, that person, that the Twin Flame. Okay, the baby, the baby Twin Flame. All right. Let's see. Let's get some messages from. That is so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so cute. Hmm. I keep hearing that song, Love Again. Oh! again you guys we've got the king of pentacles this time in the upright position so um that energy definitely is going to be making itself right because the queen of pentacles was in reverse in the previous spread and here we have the king of pentacles which is like not only are you know is 
are you writing that reverse energy, but you're also leveling up, okay? You're not going to want... So if there are any fears that you have about maybe being a single parent or whether or not... Like, it may even just be something like, you know, the the conception of this twin flame just happened so soon. Will our relationship withstand it? Whatever it's going to be, okay? The energy for you guys is the King of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups and the Magician. You are going to be fine, okay? More than fine, okay? You got big boss energy here with the King of Pentacles. Um, all, all of your needs are going to be met. Um, probably more so than what you even ever expected, okay? Um, this, your twin flame coming into your life is not going to destroy it. Your twin flame is going to amplify it and actually probably amplify your abilities and your powers and your skills and everything else, okay? Um, yeah, they're not here to... They're not here to complicate things. They're here to make help make things better for you, all right? And definitely putting an end to that Nine of Swords energy where, you know, Nine of Swords energy is sleepless nights, uh, up all night crying, worrying, anxiety, depression, all that stuff. All that's going to be coming to an end and you are going to be, oh my gosh, deliriously happy is what I'm hearing. Let's, why is this King of Pentacles energy here, please, for Pile 3? Why is this King of Pentacles energy here for Pile 3? Why is this King of Pentacles energy here for Pile 3? The Sun in Reverse, which is still the happiest card in the deck no matter what position it is. Why is the sun in reverse here? The will of fortune. Oh, okay. Well, I can kind of understand that. Like, you guys really literally have nothing to worry about, but, <laughs> you know, living life in the 3D realm, it, sometimes we still just kind of, you know, circumstances get the best of us sometimes. There are going to be times where it's just, you know, it's going to be very unpredictable, right? With the Wheel of Fortune, you don't know which way things are going to go. The good thing about it, though, you guys, is we have the Eight of Swords in reverse here. So it's like, that's why the sun, the sun energy is here, even though it's in reverse. It's just kind of letting you know it's like, you know better. You know, you, you know that you're going to have some fears, but you're going to be able to just kind of bat them off as they come. Like, you already know. Like, you know life is unpredictable, but there's going to be a larger part of yourself that trusts that... You're taking care of, oh, look at that Nine of Pentacles energy, oh my god. Oh, so beautiful. I love the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles energy is just like, I'm good. I'm good. So you, there may be a time for you guys, it's like, oh, look at the judgment. Wow. Dang, and the Ace of Cups? These are just popping out. All right, let's, let me just clarify the Ace of Cups real quick. All right, so right off the bat, you guys, I will tell you, it is heavily, heavily indicated in this reading that whoever the other parent of the twin flame is going to be that that relationship itself is not going to um like it's not going to last okay it's probably going to end um either shortly after conception or shortly after birth um but you are going to be fine like you have all the indicators here. We've got the sun. We have the king of pentacles. We have the ten of cups. We have the magician. Here we have the um, nine of pentacles. We have all these indicators here that you are just going to, you're going to be so fine. And in fact, didn't you even have like the ten of pentacles too? You have the ten of pentacles too. Like you have nothing to worry about. And then we have the ace of cups. Yeah, you guys are going to be fine. I mean, more than fine. It's like, what do you want? It's like, anything that you want, you're going to have. Like, that's kind of like, that's what happens when you have two twin flames incarnated at the same F in time. It's like, there's power that's going to be available to you that you would not have had prior to them being born. And then we've got, wow, we got the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Swords. It doesn't like... 
your heart and your mind are just like, you're going to be living primarily from your heart space. There's going to be some side, of course, when we are talking about having kids and stuff like that, there is going to be a time in your life, pile three, where you and your twin flame may be alone for a time being, okay? But you are going to be totally fine. Your mind may be kind of like, like see with the eight, the eight of swords and then we've got the ace of swords in reverse. They're both in reverse. It's almost like there's, there may be some mental stuff going on. Like you might have to be battling some um, old, outdated thought patterns and mental constructs. But deep down inside, not even deep down inside, you're, you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. And with this energy being in reverse, meaning that it's it's just going to be kind of in the background. Like that, those those thoughts and those, if there are any anxieties or worries, they're just kind of, they're going to pop up. But you're, you know, you just, you're going to be able to bat them off because for the most part, you just know everything is fine. Everything's going to be okay. You've got an immense well of love that's available to you where it's just like you don't really give two shits about what worries try to pop up. I mean, number one, your outside world is going to, you know, show you that you're just fine. You know, the King of Pentacles energy, the Nine of Pentacles energy, Ten of Pentacles energy, the Magician, it's like, that's just how illogical some thoughts can be. It's like the worries will pop up and there doesn't even need to be any reason for them to. But there may be some conflict between your heart and your head about something. So let's go find out what conflict that might be for pile three. What's this conflict with pile three's heart and head? Tell me about pile three's conflict between what's in their heart and what's going on in their mind. in reverse again hmm why does this queen of pinnacles keep popping up hmm so pile three um There may, there may be some inner conflicts that are that might be popping up as far as it comes to like you becoming a parent, a parent to a child that is like, you might have to go back and forth and maybe in your mind, like in your heart, you already know, but in your mind, your mind is going to be like, I'm supposed to be this queen of pentacles person. I'm supposed to have all my stuff together. You know, uh, all my ducks should be in a row. You know, this is what I wasn't planning for this. Um, you know, how is this going to affect my lifestyle, my plans and stuff like that. Like with the seven of wands energy here, there's kind of like wanting to, there's something like you're wanting to guard against, right? You're guarding something. And it's almost as if this is being shown as a threat. So that's kind of like the conflict that's going on between your heart and your mind. It's like your heart knows it's like everything's going to be okay. <laughs> You know, everything's going to be fine. Everything's going to be provided for. Um, yeah, things didn't happen the way that I planned or I foresaw or that I thought. Look, but look at temperance. Everything's going to be balanced out. In your heart, you know it's all going to be okay. It's all going to be okay. We've got temperance coming out. Why is temperance here? The page of swords, yeah. It's going to be okay, you guys. I'm not even seeing a delay in your plans. Like, I'm actually, for some reason, it seems really strange and it seems counterintuitive, but the arrival of your twin flame as your, like, possible biological child may actually 
speed up the realization of your dreams or your plans or whatever. Interesting. Let's get some um, guidance or some messages from your twin flame. Look at that. See, they're saying like, I'm not going to spoil anything for you. <laughs> they're not going to spoil anything. The nine of cups is like opulence. Okay. The good life, the abundant life. They are not going to spoil anything for you. They're actually going to add for it. And cup energy is emotionally, uh, emotional fulfillment. So it's just like your cup is going to runneth over and runneth over and runneth over. Like you don't have to worry about them coming in. I'm not saying that you think that they are going to mess things up, but it's almost going to be like this, this fear that you might have that becoming a parent at this point in your life may like ruin everything. And they're like, oh no, 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 that's not, that's not what's going to happen at all. It's going to be almost like a love and a love and an experience that you, I can't even explain it. There's like no words for it. Why is the Nine of Cups here for Pile 3? That's too many. Why is the Nine of Cups here for Pile 3? Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, that is so interesting. Oh, wow. So we have the Nine of Cups and then we have the Levers again. So what this is letting me know, Pile 3, is that... You and this and your twin flames um, person, like their other parent, may, there may be a union that may be like a reunion. If not, then it's like somehow they're going to be ushering in possibly a lifetime soulmate. But I'll be honest, the minute I saw that, it was like a return, a return. So there may only be a temporary separation between you and your twin flame's other parent. Hmm. That's the over the overwhelming message. That's really what's coming up. So there is gonna be a separation between you and the the twin flames the other parent okay but there will be a reunion okay for most of you anyway for the other half of you where you know because this is a general reading there will be the manifestation of another very significant soulmate connection where you'll be able to raise this beautiful twin soul of yours with okay all right let's get some more messages there's the page of swords in the upright position see all the energy it's like it's being corrected it's like don't worry it's like whatever seems upside down whatever seems like it's a mess don't worry it's all going to be just connected not it's all going to be corrected naturally why is the page of swords here Something about being very discerning, very discerning about what. Ah, about your walls. Just be very careful about your thought patterns. There seems to be some kind of a rigid line of thinking or maybe expectations that you might need to kind of let your, not your guard down so much, but something is like you're defending something is what it feels like. There's 
some some kind of a thought structure, a belief structure, or something like that about the way things should be, about the way things should look, that you need to kind of maybe release that battle, release that fight, let that fight go. Because whatever the situation that leads to this twin flame being born is actually going to be um, contradicting to whatever that is. Okay, pile three. Let's get a couple more cards for pile three, please. Okay, and then we got the nine of pentacles again. Oh no, that's the seven of pentacles. Okay, seven of pentacles. Why is the seven of pentacles here in reverse, please? The three of swords, yeah. The Seven of Pentacles energy normally talks about kind of waiting, like assessing your investment. And not to let any kind of heartache or disappointment that you may encounter discolor what you have harvested so far. Like, your twin flame manifesting in your life as your like as your child is gonna bring you so much emotional fulfillment just by themselves just by themselves but it's not gonna stop there but there like I said there's something about maybe your upbringing Maybe about the way you believe things should go. Like there's like a certain path to take to get there. And there may be a sense of like maybe disappointment in yourself. There may be a sense of like heartbreak or something like that. That may discolor what you have achieved so far. It's like your manifestations. When you look at the seven of pentacles, it's almost like, you know, they've spent some time planting and nourishing and watering and you know fertilizing and they spent some time they spent some time working right and now they're taking time and they're just kind of assessing where they're at like is my harvest yielding the kind of return that I want and to not let heartbreak or disappointment make it look like your harvest is anything less than what is actually being brought in, okay? Um, there is an overwhelming message here. It has something to do with kind of like your thought patterns, your belief structures, how things should go, how things need to go, the path they need to take, um, the steps that need to be taken to get there because I really do feel like I don't want to say they're a wrench. It's not necessarily that, but it's almost like ready or not. Here I come. Here I come. <laughs> All right. We got page of pentacles. It says this messenger is here to tell you that job searches and opportunities are favored. Make sure you are using a hands-on methodical approach to any business situation. Practicality is the key to your productivity. The quality of your work is also of utmost importance. And then we, oh, there's, ah, you guys, again, all this, pen, see, you guys are going to be fine. Okay, so, for some of you, this may happen while you're in school. Or this may happen when you're just kind of like, in, you're in a new phase of life, or maybe you're having to start over. Um, but it almost feels like this is like it's gonna feel like really bad timing. I'll put it that way, but It's almost like don't pay attention to what uh, don't pay attention to appearances. The timing is perfect and you are going to be 
just fine. You're gonna have everything that you need to live life and to live it in abundance. And um, your twin flame coming in as your child, as your biological, is going to add to your power and add to your abundance. It, they're not gonna take from it, okay? They are not gonna take from it. All right, pile three, that was your message. Do me a favor, you guys, and comment below. Let me know. Uh, let me know your thoughts. If it resonated, just hit the uh, hit the like button. Share and subscribe if you feel led to do so. And I will see you at your next reading. Thanks. Well, hello to you guys. Pile four. This is your reading if you chose the clear quartz seer stone and what we're going to be doing today you guys is tapping into yours and your twin flames connection okay so before we even move any further pile four please do me a favor go check out the introduction there's going to be some tidbits of information in there that will help put this reading into context okay um, so just go check the timestamp, and then when you're done, come right back here, all right? Otherwise, we're going to get right into your reading and look to see if you have a twin flame. And I will tell you guys right off the bat, just like I told you in the introduction, you do have a twin flame. Everybody has a twin flame. What we're going to be figuring out today, you guys, is whether or not you and your twin flame are incarnated here um, on this earth, this 3D realm at the same time and what your relationship is going to look like whether you are incarnated or whether you are not, okay? Um, obviously, you're incarnated, but we're talking about them. All right, so let's just get right into it. You guys, we got the bouquet. So right away, I will tell you right now that yes, Pile 4, you have a twin flame and they are are incarnated here at this point in time and congratulations <laughs> yeah, you and your twin flame um, do have the ability to have that kind of a relationship as far as like you know the romantic relationship now we all know that um, soulmates twin flames can have different kinds of um, like, you know, your twin flame can be incarnated at the same time as you, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they are going to be like your romantic partner. Okay. Well, now we're not saying that your twin flame is going to be like a friend or anything like that. Um, but one of the other piles, um, there, you know, was talking about their twin flame being incarnated, but it was going to be more along the lines of like, that was going to be their child. Okay. Here for you guys, I really do feel with, especially with the bouquet car, uh, card coming out for you guys, your twin flame is incarnated at and living on this earth at the same time that you are. And you two are meant to have that romantic connection with each other. So, um, you know, husband and wifey type of energy okay whether you're male female whether no matter what you identify with okay it's that um that energy for you guys which congratulations pile four you are the only pile in this entire reading where that came out for you okay um the in you're it <laughs> which if you watch the intro you know that this shouldn't surprise you because um having a twin flame that is incarnated at the same time as you is actually very rare and um and although i do believe that you know more twin flames are incarnating now but they're like babies you know they're not our age they're not adults so congratulations paul for you have a twin flame that is more than likely going to be your romantic counterpart okay all right let's get some information about this Twin Flame reading for Pile 4. Tell me about this Twin Flame reading. about twin Paul Force twin flame reading please okay I cannot read 
reverse. So we got seven of cups in reverse. Why is the seven of cups in reverse here, please? Things are about to get very, very clear for you guys. If there was any confusion about your twin flame, like I do feel like there may be some confusion about who your twin flame is. It does still feel like there's kind of like, like you're in a waiting phase. Hmm. And we got temperance in reverse. So there's been some imbalance here, which doesn't surprise me. So I feel like you two, like you might be in separation. Look at that. So I do feel like you guys um, are not currently in union with your twin flame. I feel like you guys are in separation. Now, whether or not that means that you know them, I haven't seen here yet, but I do know that Confu like you're working through the confusion. You're working through clearing things up. You're kind of like in preparation. That's where you're at right now. Okay, like you're f you and your um, you and your twin flame are meant to unite because the two of you are incarnated here at this point in time at the same time. So you are meant to unite. Okay, and do whatever it is that the two of you are supposed to be doing because you know twin flames have a very specific mission, right? So. Um, but but you're in you're in separation right now. So if you know who your twin flame is, the reason and even if you don't, there is imbalance here that needs to be worked on before the two of you can successfully unite. There is imbalance between both of you, but mostly it's within um, the imbalance is coming mostly from the divine masculine in this connection. Okay, so. Um, they are currently undergoing some kind of a process where they are help me explain this um i feel like they're too high they're too much in their masculine energy they're too much in their masculine energy your divine your divine masculine it's almost like a distorted sense of masculinity. Not toxic necessarily. It's just... Um, yeah, we got tower in reverse. So this, there's definitely resistance here to change. But... Ah, okay. Why is the tower in reverse here? It's happening slow, you guys. Yeah. Okay. So I will say that you guys are in separation and do not expect to be uh, successfully united soon. And what I mean by successfully united, like happily ever after. Okay. There is a major, um, I, I'm hearing like, karmic debts are being settled and it's going to take a minute for that to happen with the eight of wands in reverse here it's like it's <laughs> it's going to take a minute okay there are things going on in the divine masculine's life where karmic debts are being settled right now interesting here we have the ten of swords yeah wow with the king of pentacles but look what it's doing so I love that the emperor came out, okay? So that lets me know that that is your divine masculine, okay? Either you're the divine masculine, they're the divine, it doesn't matter. Either way, the, the divine masculine in this connection is going through a major transformation right now, okay? The settling of karmic debts, um, slates are being cleared, and it is causing a lot of major upset in the in the life of the divine masculine okay but it is making them into the king of pentacles are you know part of the emperor where they're going to be just so much more grounded so much more settled so much more centered responsible um yeah i mean 
you're gonna love the version like I, I for most of you I'm going to be talking to you as if you are the divine feminine as if you are the Empress in this connect connection uh, like I said this is a general well I didn't say but this is a general reading so just kind of take it you know put everything how it resonates however it fits um, I do offer private um, twin flame readings just check the description box but I do feel for you guys like you are the divine feminines okay and your divine masculine if you don't know who they are I'm just kind of giving you a, a sneak peek on what's going on it may be a while before this connection manifests because there is um, I, I keep hearing it's yes a karmic clearing but I keep hearing a reckoning there is a reckoning going on you guys have to understand that masculine energy is very just by nature okay is very rebellious it's very defiant and so it is harder for masculine energy to balance out I feel than it is for feminine energy to balance out and they are going through I'm, I'm hearing they're being humbled <laughs> they're being um, they're being humbled they are being um, there's just a lot of debts there's some reckoning that's happening there's karmic debts that are being settled but it's funny that I did hear a reckoning okay the divine masculine in this connection is going through a reckoning um, you might want to look up what that means so but really the message for that is just to let you know like if you know if you have an actual person in mind it's going to be a minute before this person is actually ready to come into a healthy secure union with you so don't hold your life up for your twin flame pile for go live your life okay live your life go make friendships find out what you like to do go live a juicy life and um build in your empress divine feminine energy okay make your life make your empire when your emperor when your divine masculine is ready uh when they have you know um settled at least most of their karmic debts you know they'll be able to manifest into your life and the two of you can live somewhat happily ever after okay to the best of the ability of a human anyway more about this divine twin flame union please yours may be the shortest reading of all four of the piles <laughs> simply because <laughs> Um, yeah, see we have the Eight of Cups, which is talking about walking away, not necessarily. So walking away literally means like pulling your energy back from seeking this connection. If you know this person, okay, pile four, if you know them, walk away. Like they are in no place right now to, um, they're not, they're just, they're not in any place right now. If you try to connect with them and try to have a relationship with them, it will bring you down with them. You don't, okay? So it's like the two of you need to be separated right now so that you can go, you know, they need to like shore up their karmic stuff. You need to basically just build yourself up and live your best life as much as you possibly can. Pull your energy back basically away from seeking union with this person, whether you know them or not. And, um go focus on building your own empress energy where you're able to feel those things in and of yourself outside and apart from your twin flame okay get yourself to a point where you don't feel empty you don't feel incomplete you don't feel any of those things in your absence um, and that is what's going to help manifest and bring them in faster okay that's actually going to influence them then um, to also that's also going to influence their journey as well because whatever happens to you the two of you are like mirror images okay so um, they're gonna be able to settle their karmic debts faster if you can let go of trying to um, force this union when it before it's ready okay um, 
free them, free up their energy, allow them to free their energy up so they can focus on um, releasing themselves from any other karmic debts or karmic loads or however you want to call it. Um, because by holding on, you are blocking your own, you're creating a block in your own heart, Pile 4. By holding on, you're creating a block in your own heart. That is not good for you to do. Um, we got the three of swords and oh, we got the three of swords in reverse, and so it's like yes, walk away from that, okay? Um, connect to your heart again. Pull your energy away from trying to control what's going on with this twin flame journey, and focus on living your happily ever after with your by with and by yourself and then they're going to be able to come along and like add to that if that makes any sense okay you don't actually need your your twin flame active in your life in order to have that happily ever after feeling you can do that yourself okay um will it be nice to add them into it oh hell yeah um but the thing here is to learn how to it's not like you know you're Two ha your two halves making a whole. No, your two wholes coming together. Okay, your two whole people coming together. All right, there is no they complete you, you, you complete them. You are, you know, complete and whole people in and of yourself. Um, let's get some more information for Pile Four, please, on their twin flames. swords in reverse and then we also have the five of yeah so it's almost like you guys are feeling like almost like you have an aversion to moving on it's like you know that you should but there is something that's keeping you stuck and there's almost like I feel there's disappointment here disappointment maybe some regrets and something like that but you're not understanding this is just part of the process um, and I'm also feeling like you got off easy. Um, don't come for the messenger, okay? <laughs> like I said, this is a general reading, so so put it where it put it where it fits. Um, it's not as bad as what it could have been, okay? Um, the fact that the two of you are separated is for your protection, so that they can go and settle their debts without it affecting you. You don't. That's part of kind of like the whole karmic thing with with twin flames. You don't want to take on their karmic debts for yourself, okay? Um, that, that would cause all kinds of, you know, wreck havoc in your life and stuff. You just don't want it. So just allow yourself to pull your energy away from trying to control and manifest this union before it's time. Okay. Just go enjoy your life. Um, you know, live it up in this queen of, of, of cups energy and, you taking them taking your energy off of them is actually going to free their energy up to expedite the process of doing whatever it is they need to do in order for the two of you to be able to um unite here because you guys are, are meant to unite here in this lifetime okay yeah see you guys are having a really hard time enjoying your life and it's blocking your ability to, like your manifesting ability. It's blocking your creative ability. You guys are, you guys, your focus is entirely on this person or on this twin flame journey, whether or not you know them. Like your focus is solely on it. And the fact that, and your focus being on that and the fact that it's not where you want it to be is affecting your ability to live and experience the life that you want. And, and ironically enough, it's keeping this union from being able to manifest in the way that you want it to manifest your mind your mental energy constantly being on this person or on this journey is what is part of the block keeping it from being able to manifest how you want it to manifest okay um let's see 
Let's get some messages from the, for you guys. I am actually going to use some Oracle cards. I didn't do these cards for the other ones. All right, Paul Four. What messages do you have for Paul Four? Passion. Try something you've never done before, okay? That's part of pulling your energy back and really just pouring your energy back into yourself. Um, and this is your twin flame, their higher self telling you that. Like, try something that gives you a sense of passion. Like, you're waiting to feel, you're waiting until you're with them to feel this intense burning desire within. It's like you can feel that right now. Go channel that into something else. Go try something you've never done before. Maybe there's something in the back of your mind where you're like, hmm, I've been wanting to try that for it. Go try it all. That's what I'm hearing. Go try it all. We got rejection and then we also have regret. This rejection is actually divine protection. And that could simply mean that um, for some of you, I'm hearing like you've been rerouted. For some of you, you do kind of have an idea who your twin flame is. For those, for the other half of you who have no idea, or just blah, blah, you have no idea, you are just waiting for this connection to manifest. There is a reason why you're kind of in this in-between phase. This connection is not ready, and if it manifested right now, it would be a heap of trouble. It would be a mess. It would be chaotic. It would be everything you would not want it to be, okay? Uh, regret, that's more of that, what is it, that Five of Pentacles energy? Not, yeah, Five of Pentacles energy, but also the Five of Cups energy. Um, someone feels remorse for the way that they treated you. Um, that's simply just for those of you who know who your twin flame is. Um, they may have kind of like, you may be feeling rejected from them. Like they may have walked away from you. Um, and that's just kind of letting you know though, this is, that's divine protection. There is, there, there's a high, your higher self and their higher self are at work. Okay. Your mind doesn't understand it. Um, and that's okay. It, your mind doesn't need to, you know, let your mind rest and understand that there's something bigger behind the scenes that's going on at work here. Okay. And your twin flame had to be influenced somehow. They have a lot of karmic load and karmic debt that they have to repay that they've got to make up for. And you being who you are, Wanting to take that on yourself so that the two of you could be together would just cause more problems for the two. It says, I know I messed everything up. You speak to me through music. So they, they know what they did, okay? Their avatar, they know what they did. Um, and they do think about you. They do think about you. Of course they think about you. You are their twin flame, okay? You are never going to escape them. Yeah, like as much as they may try to escape you and try not to think about you, thoughts of you are never going to escape them. They are, you're always going to be there, okay? They think about you constantly is what I'm hearing. That was way too many cards. All right, we're going to get a couple more cards from this deck. They feel they messed everything up, but hmm, that's how they feel anyway. That may be part of why if you are in a no contact situation, um, why you have not heard from them is because um, they're just kind of, you know, they're fearing what you might say should they make that phone call or send that text message. Is I don't react when people mention you. Okay, so they try and make it seem cool, calm, cool, and collected, and that's just that stubborn, <laughs> divine masculine energy at work. Um, for those of you who don't know your twin flame yet, this is basically just saying like they're going through some shit right now, pile four, regardless whether you know them or not. Like them knowing they messed everything up, there is something going on in their life right now where they are having to uh what did i say earlier the reckoning what did i say reckoning 
they're they're just they're paying they're they're in the payback phase of of like karma right now like they there's something that they did that they're having to make amends for whether it is actually like you know physically or simply energetically And they are very much kind of in like their distorted masculine energy right now where that's how masculine energy is. Like if they are someone that you know and they're around, you know, if you know who this person is, masculine energy, especially if it's distorted masculine energy, is completely cut off from their heart-based energy, which is their inner feminine, okay? So masculine-based energy is is dominant, like, mostly mental energy. That's where they thrive, as opposed to, you know, feminine energy thrives in heart-based energy. Um, and so it's like there's almost, and that may be part of what they are here to do, is learn how to kind of get over that, that you know, that distorted masculine energy and learn how to rest in their feminine, their inner feminine energy to get in touch with that so that they can be humble. Like I keep hearing like be humbled. Are they being humbled? They're being humbled. I think I said that earlier. Um, they're being humbled. You know, I feel called to Yeah, I feel called to get a couple more cards. Let's get some more a few more messages from Paul Force Twin Flame, and then we'll end the reading there. We got a pilgrimage. So the spirit is inviting you to make a journey to a sacred place of homecoming. You're being called to a higher purpose. It is time for the next step on your spiritual path. Signs and messages and synchronicity will show you the way. Rites of passage will help you earn the badges of honor and humility involved. Get ready to abandon the familiar. Yes, so they are coming back home to themselves. This is, and this is not an easy task for masculine energy at all. Okay, it's not an easy task for mental mind-based energy to bypass its nature and connect to heart-based feeling energy, okay? But that's how they are coming home to self, okay? It's not an easy process, and so it is one of those things where it is best for them to learn how to do that alone, on their own. Um, otherwise, you've got two different energies that are just kind of um, in the mix, kind of complicating things a little bit more. They need to be on their own so they can figure this out. And then we also have love offering. You are receiving a love offering from someone that has their eye on you. You have an admirer. Someone wants to take the connection with you to the next level. Someone has romantic interests. An opportunity for new love has come. Be discerning. Divine love is worth earning. Divine love is patient, honest, and loyal. So this is for you also, you guys. Your person, your twin flame is thinking about you. They can't stop thinking about you. It's natural. That's a natural component of this. I mean, they're the other, they are the divine masculine to your divine feminine, okay? There is no way that they wouldn't be thinking about you. And one, once they finish kind of like this pilgrimage, once they finish shoring up their karmic account, their karmic load, they are going to be coming back to you. They will be. Okay, they know that you're the one that they're supposed to be with. They know. Even if they don't know that it's a twin flame connection, they there is this undeniable... Um, undeniable connection that the two of you have. They realize that, okay? But you have to give them space to um, complete this transformation. And they can't do it with your energy so close and enmeshed to theirs, okay? So you have to be willing to do your part and withdraw your energy and go focus your energy on something else that is going to bring you a sense of joy and just be an expectation that when you take your energy off of them, it's going to free space up for them to be able to expedite whatever it is they're needing to do in order for the two of you to be together, okay? 
Um, let's get a couple more cards from this deck and then we will call it a night. two knights the knight of wands and the knight of cups you guys so they are going to be coming in a hot and heavy for you when they are ready okay it i i am feeling like they are having a hard time keeping themselves restrained from you anyway when they are ready and they like when they come back home to yourself you guys basically saying when when they are balanced inside when they're divine when they are truly in their divine masculine and not in their distorted masculine they're going to be like, you're going to be the first play, person, like the, the pilgrimage card talking about coming back home. You are that sense of home to them. So they are going to make a beeline for you. And they are going to have, like it said in the other card, this love offering, especially with this Knight of Cups energy. But it, they're going to be <laughs> um, like hot and heavy, hot and heavy. Like they, they're not going to want to keep their hands off of you in a good way. Like it, you know what I mean? Like they're going to have, they're going to want to make up for lost time. We'll put it that way. Okay, you guys. So there is passion coming. There's a love offer coming. Um, they are going to want to take things to the next level. You just have to be willing to do your part and basically go, go do something else for now. Okay. Literally what's coming up is like, go figure out something else to do with your life rather than focusing on this twin flame journey okay and focus on just making yourself happy building yourself up finding things that you like to do focusing on things that fill your cup okay and they will be coming in um after they've gotten everything squared away on their end okay pile four all right those were your messages do me a favor comment below pile four and let me know what you thought okay you guys were the only pile <laughs> out of all four piles where um it came up that your twin flame is uh you know you and your twin flame you guys are on that journey together in this lifetime all right if it resonated please smash the like button for me share and subscribe if you feel led to do so and i will be catching you guys on the next reading i love you guys bye